race two is the international hurdle it's a grade two over two mile and one furlong well, 13 runners in this including last year's winner returning to try and regain the crown at the top we've got building bridges for joshua Thurland, sutherland for lauderdale jim murray little rock liberty vinnie gerard Aaron fire daniel french constitution hill david hooley forgotten next for Martin Little, who won the race last year, Ikarudu Song, James Shea, St. Nicholas at Wade, Darren Thompson, Tiptoe away, Darren, David Robertson, Volcanic Impact, Leon Van Rensburg, Forge Club and Jim Thief, both for Craig Beckwith, and Latest Flame for David Robertson, a field of 13. And away they go. And latest Flame is the first one to show as they head towards the first flight. Eight to take. And Fort Lauderdale closest to us, and Little Rock Liberty up there disputing the lead as well. So, we'll get over the first, okay. We have Little Rock Liberty now settling down into the lead. Leading by a couple of lengths, there's a line of about six or seven of them disputing second at this point. Vinnie Gerard's Little Rock Liberty is the leader. In answer to Vinnie's question from the other week, which I forgot to answer about the bed and the car, I don't know because I was so busy concentrating on the race. The next time I looked up, They'd all gone, everybody had gone, so I assume they either gave up and took him back in, or they did manage to get it in and go, so I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that one. Unfortunately, I'm sure nobody's losing any sleep over it, but there you go, that was the tale of the people trying to get the bed, the big bed in the little car. Did it work or not? We'll never know. Anyway, Little Rock Liberty's the leader, racing uphill and away from the stands, and onto the back part of Presbury Park, and one complete circuit of the track to be completed now. And Little Rock Liberty is the leader. Fort Lord then on the outside is second. Hammond Fire is third. In comes Ikarudu Song after that one. In Burning Bridges. And latest flame after that one. Then Constitution Hill. The tiptoe away Darren as they get to the third. The back marker is just about Forge Club at this point. But it's number one. That doesn't let off the leader. And that leader is still Little Rock Liberty in the two shades of green. From Fort Lord our second in the black and red. They get over the fourth. Mistake there by last year's winner. Forgotten next. Seeing that one shuffle to the back. A little Rock Liberty continuing to lead them as they get into the fifth. All safely over the fifth. We need Fort Lauderdale second. Igarudu Song third. Aim and fire four. Then building bridges. Tips away. Darren is next. And stable companion latest flame is also there. On the outside, in between the two of them, Burning Bridges and Forgotten Next, Constitution Hill is on the rail. Craig Beckwith's two are starting to take a little bit closer to order as well. Forge Club is one of them as they get over to third last. Looking towards the back, Volcanic Impact is the back marker, but it's Little Rock Liberty who races downhill and leads with two hurdles left to get over, but still a good six and a half furlongs to race. Steep downhill run there, and they'll swing left handed, take another flight, and I think they're just one in the straight on this. Particular Cheltenham course, depending on which one we're on. It's the first hurdle race today. And there's Little Rock Liberty in the lead now, being joined though by Aim and Fire. Last year's winner, Forgotten Next, is coming into it on the outside, running a big race. Then Latest Flame tips away. Darren is there as well. Then comes Fort Lord of the Alicarudu Song. They're all bunching up now. It's a wide open one, this one, as they head to the second last. Over the second last, they go. Little Rock Liberty. Now being joined by Ikarudu Song and Jim Thief. Then comes Burning Bridges and Forgotten Next and Forge Clubs after that one. But Little Rock Liberty's trying to fight back. Jim Thief though has gone into the lead by about a neck. It's Jim Thief and Little Rock Liberty with three furlongs and one flight to go. These two are about four lengths clear of Aim and Fire and Forgotten Next back in fourth. Then Ikarudu Song and Fort Lauderdale. It's Jim Thief just in the lead. Jim Thief by about half a length as they race towards this final flight. Jim Thief from Little Rock Liberty trying to fight back on the inside. These two are clear surely between them as they come down this final flight now Jim Thief jumped in just the matter Little Rock Liberty still there on the inside though and he's fighting back but Jim Thief he's beginning to forge away now inside the final furlong and it's Jim Thief full and Beckwith who's absolutely powering up the hill and Jim Thief puts itself right in the champion little picture as Jim Thief takes it quite comfortably in the end for Aim and Fire St Nicholas away Forge Club Constitution Hill forgotten next was next tiptoe away Darren was last to finish and what I'm a resident bookie is going to make of that in the champion hurdle market, but I think Jim Thief's going to have to be quite well fancied now. 66 to 1 winner today. Jim Thief takes it for Craig Beckwith and Nicholas at Wade, Darren Thompson second, Eamon Fire, Daniel French third, Forge Club for Craig Beckwith again fourth, and Constitution Hill for David Hooley was a fifth. <laughs>